This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone, SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT, SME Nation. Sa ating pagpagsindi ng unang kandila ng Adviento, we pray. Father, as we begin our Advent pilgrimage, we light a candle of hope. Grant us the courage to hope. Hope for your presence. Hope for your peace. Hope for your promise. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Ngayon po sa araw na ito, inumpisahan ng simbahan ang kanyang New Year with the new liturgical year with the coming of the first Advent Sunday. Mga kapatid, kaagad nakikita natin ang pagbabago. Ang pari, nakasuot na ngayon ng ube. Ang ating pong mga uh, gloria, hindi, ang gloria ay hindi na po aawitin o ire-recite sa araw na ito. But inside all of us, there is that sense of joy anticipation, an expectation of the one who is coming, whose birthday we will celebrate. Sa mga pagkakataong binaliwala natin siya, na siyang Panginoon ng ating buhay at puso, we ask His forgiveness.
Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Tayo po'y manalangin. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the result to run forth to meet your cries with righteous deeds at His coming, so that gathered at His right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Word. Isaiah expresses the great longing of the people for the Lord. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down. We share the same sentiments during this season of Advent, the first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer. You are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down with the mountains quaking before you. While you wrought awesome deeds, we could not hope for, such as they had not heard of from of old. No ear has ever heard, no eye ever seen, any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might meet us doing right, that we were mindful of you in our ways. Behold, you are angry and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves, and our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to cling to you. For you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father, we are the clay, and you the potter. We are all the works of your hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ha 
has planted the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. May your health be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. The words of the Apostle Paul are an excellent reminder during this season when we reflect on the Lord's coming into our lives. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account. For the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way, with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony of Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift, as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by Him you were called to fellowship with His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. your spirit. The proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore, you do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening or at midnight, or at cockcrow or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all, watch. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kahapon po'y napaaga kong magmisa sa Rockwell, ay may pari pong nauna sa aking nagmisa roon, pinakinggan ko yung kanyang sermon na taipan ko. Hiningi ko naman ng permiso ni Father Maxwell kung pwede ko bang mahiram yung mga ideas niya at pumayag po naman. And I think it's worth sharing yung kanyang thoughts as we have come into the season of Advent. Para kay Father Maxwell lang sabi niya, as this season comes, lalo na itong unang araw, we are brought to remember the three R's, letter R, with which we have to celebrate this season. Umpisang ko na. Ang number one sabi niya is, the letter R of remembering. Bakit? Kasi ang ating pinaghahandaan, actually nangyari na, dalawang libong taon ang nakalipas. When heaven and earth met, when the doors of heaven opened, and into us was born the Savior of the world. For us, He came down. Kung paano ginawa ng Diyos itong kababalagang ito, na ang kininang kahinaan ng tao, that we should never forget. That was the day when all of heaven and earth rejoiced. It was the day when all of heaven and earth cried out glory to God in the highest and peace to His people of goodwill, to the men and women of goodwill. Huwag nating kalimutan ang kadahilanan ng kapaskuhan nitong ating pinaghahandaan. At naalala ko kasi, no, ngayon sobrang grabe ang commercialism. And in America, it has so become so bad na ikwento ko na, na doon ipinagbabawal sa mga villages na sa umpisa ng villages ay maglalagay ng bilen. Ipinagbabawal na magkaroon ng bilen sa mga schools. Ipinagbabawal na maglagay ng bilen sa harapan ng iyong bahay. Eh ano bang inaalaala natin? Hindi ba ang kanyang pagsilang? Kaya last year, dinala ko sa inyo yung image of the Santa Claus. Kasi lahat ipinagbabawal si Jose, ipinagbabawal si Maria, ipinagbabawal ang anak, ang, na, anak na sang, ang sanggol sa sabsaban. Pero Santa Claus, pwede. Na para bagang si Santa Claus ang kadahilanan ng ating Christmas. Kaya it is beautiful to receive that statue of Santa Claus kneeling before Jesus as if to tell us, ito ang kadahilanan ng ating paghahanda. To remember the mercy of God. To remember this great goodness of a God who decided to be one among us. To be a part ng storya ng sangkatauhan. Remembering at huwag kalimutan ang kadahilanan ng ating paghahanda. Number two, ang sabi niya, Reflecting. Not only reflecting, but rehearsing the preparation. May mas maganda pa siyang sinabi. Eh. Hindi lang reflecting ang sabi niya. There is the need for all of us to be ready sa kanyang muling pagdating. Ang readiness ay hindi biglaan. You remember? May mga bagay na pwedeng paspasan mo sa paghahanda. May mga bagay na hindi nabibigla. And that sense of constant readiness is what we have to do. Katulad ngayon, narinig nyo kanina yung bagong kirye. Father, pauso kayo. Hindi. Yan ang ating aawitin sa luneta sa araw ng pagdating ng ating Santo Papa. Ang inawit natin kaninang Alleluia, ang awitin nating final song, nagpa-practice na tayo. We're actually rehearsing for the coming of Him whom we rejoice as Christ representative on earth. May mga bagay na hindi nabibigla. May mga bagay na pinaghahandaan. Kasi you never know. You never know. Watch. Be alert. Is the constant cry of Jesus. Alam nyo, uh, may, may maliit na kondo, kondo unit yung aming family. Eh, ang, ang sabi sa akin ng mga organizer, father, nung administrator, Tirhan mo naman. Paano yun naman alam na hindi ko tinitirhan? Father naman, sa buwang ito, yung tubig mo, 35 pesos. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo talaga halos napupuntahan. So, nag-decision akong pumunta. 
at nagdesisyon na matulog roon. Nakapadyama na ako, nakapang na ako pang bahay, nang biglang may naalaala kung dapat kunin sa baba. Malapit lang man lang sa seminaryo, ay bumaba ako. Dinakma ko yung susi. Nasa labas na ako ng pinto at nalako na ako nang makita ko. Aroy, susi ng kwarto sa seminaryo ang aking nakuha. Hindi susi ng kondo. Sabi ko, paano ngayon to? Ay yung isang susi na andun sa talyer kasi pinaayos ko yung sasakyan. Sabi ko, patay, paano to? Eh, alas onsi na ng gabi. Ay talagang sabi ko, hindi ko naman pwedeng iwanan kasi nakaandar yung aircon, nakaandar yung lahat-lahat, nakailaw na, patay ka ako to, paano to? Ang ginawa ko, dahan-dahan akong kumatok doon sa kabila. Kasi magkadikit lang naman, may veranda kaming pareho. Sabi ko, pasensya na po, pwede ho bang akong dumaan sa veranda? Sabi niya, Father, halika tignan mo. So tumingin ako, pagtingin ko, dere-derecho, ninth floor. Sabi ko, mamamatay yata ako bago magpasko. <laughs> Sabi ko, sila na mismo nagsabi, Father, wag na, mahirap na, baka mahulog ka pa. Kasi wala kang kakapitan, e baka matarantak at may mga tanim-tanim pa, e baka dumaretso kayo sa baba. So bumalik ako sa gwardiya. Sabi ko, eto problema ko. Father, sa kabila po may na-lockout din. Nagpatawag po sila ng locksmith. Baka, Father, gusto niyo magpa-service na lang din kayo. O sige, kakot, wala na talaga ako magagawa. <clears throat> So, umakyat kami. Tinignan ko yung dalawang dumating na kamotor. Parang mga mokong, kababata, nakadala ng hermit. So, sabi ko, pagdating ko roon, sabi ko, Nako, palagay ko, macha-challenge kayo. Medyo complicated yung luck kong yan. Ngingiti-ngiti. Tapos biglang, Father, okay na ho. Anong ibig mong sabihin ng okay? Binuksan. Binuksan. Less than one minute. Natakot ako. Sabi ko, oh my God. Ganito pala kabilis mabuksa lang kahit anong pintuan. They were so good expert rehearsed in what they were doing. Pero ako nag nag natakot. Sabi ko, wow. Kung hindi ka handa sa mga ganitong klase, patay ka. Pwedeng maransak pala ang bahay mo na wala kang kaalam-alam. Sinungkit-sungkit lang niya ng dalawang hindi ko maintindihan. Bukas na. Pero lalo ako matumba. Muntik ng matumba. Nang tinanong ko kung magkano, 4.50. Alam niya, kako, less than one minute, na 4.50 ako. But you know, that sense of constant awareness, alertness that anything can happen, that is what Jesus is telling us. You never know, ang sabi niya. And so that sense of readiness, may mga nakausap kaming uh, kasama ngayon sa preparation of the Holy Father, You know, their biggest problem is that the Holy Father does not like too much protection. Ni ayaw nga niyang sumakay sa mobile na may saradong sarado na hindi niya mahawakan yung mga tao. Eh, ang problema, sabi ng general in charge is, nangka, ang hirap niyan. Kasi dadaan kami, dere-derezzo sa Rojas Boulevard. Eh, ang high-rise doon, isang katerba. Malagyan lang ng sniper yan. Napakahirap. Kaya siguro sila, sa bawat high-rise, maglalagay din sila ng sniper ng gobyerno. Dalawang batalyon ang inihahanda nila para proteksyonan ng Santo Papa. The need of constant readiness. And that is exactly what we do for, for, for Advent. Are we ready for His second coming? And don't even think na maghahanda ka lang pag malapit na. Because you never know when He will come. That's the second. Pangalawa, Not only do we speak of readiness, we speak of reconciliation. Kaya pala siya napunta upang ang samlibutang makasalanan ay muling mapalapit sa Kanya. We speak of God desiring communion with all of us. At yun ang mahalaga. And communion means, first of all, na ikaw'y tinatanggap mo ang iyong kakulangan. Na ang iyong pagdidesisyong to repent, to be renewed, is in your heart. And that's the best preparation for this coming Christmas. Go to confession. Aminin ang iyong kahinaan. Ang minin ang iyong kakulangan. You know, I was talking with one of our priests. Ang aming pong society ang na-assign na kumuha ng sinasabing video doon sa pagbisita ng Santo Papa sa Tacloban. It will be the official uh, video uh, in charge Eh, 
pinag-uusapan na nila kung paano ihahanda, kung ilan ang mga kabataan na sasama sa Santo Papa para sa kanyang lunch kasi yung kwarto na tinuro sa kanila ay hindi po naman kalakihan. Pero alam nyo, malulungkot ka lang kasi habang si Father ay nagpunta roon, ang dami pa niyang narinig tungkol sa hindi ayos sa takloban. Totoo ba? Ayon sa kanyang narinig, na mayroong isang shipping line ngayon na gusto nang bawiin ang kanilang mga 40-footer na mga vans, na mga taguan, 20-footer, sapagkat hanggang sa ngayon, ito po'y may mga laman pa na hindi pa nadidistribute. Bad yun. Kasi sabi niya, tinitignan ko yung mga kabataan, gunit-gulanit ang mga damit. Eh kung gaan doon pa pala, nasa loob pa ng 40-footer, isang taon na yun. Bakit walang ginagawa sa bagay na yan? Kung totoo yun, dapat i-address ka agad yun. Totoo ba na sinasabi nila na kaya ibinaba ang number at hindi pinalampas sa 10,000? Ay sapagkat automatic pala na pag umabot sa 10,000, the UN government takes over the distribution of the funds. Kung totoo yun, bad yun. Hindi dapat nangyayari ang ganun. Malulungkot ka sa mga kabataan, sabi ni Father. No? Sabi niya, Mar, gulong-gulo ang isipan nung in-charge doon kung sino ang papupuntahin upang sumama sa Santo Papa. Kasi sa dami ng mga talagang sobrang nasa lanta. Eh, yung mga bata daw, nagbibidahan. Sabi niya, dapat ako. Eh, kasi nawalang kami ng bahay. Sagot naman ng isa, eh, dapat ako. Lima sa amin ang namatay. Sabi naman, ay, wala ka pala eh. Hmm. Bakit ako? Ako na lang natira. Taubos pamilya ko. You know? Ganun ang bidangan, no? nalulungkot. Alam mo, nag sila. Palabunutan na lang. Hmm. As you listen to all of these, and we ask ourselves, have you reached out to these people for the season of Advent? Ask of us to be reconciled with our brothers and sisters, to be reconciled with our God, to be reconciled and to repent for the things that we have not done right. Alam nyo, uh, <clears throat> when the Holy Father comes, He will tell us a basic of all things, that God, more than anything else, is a God of mercy. At ito yung pang-apat na letter R. To rejoice in knowing that sa kabila ng ating kapalpakan, sa kabila ng patuloy nating pag hindi pagbabago, God keeps on giving us this chance. Nakailang Advent na kaya kayo? Sa kabila nito, the Lord gives you another Advent in order for you to say, Lord, ang tunay na paghahanda ay wala sa panlabas. Ang tunay na paghahanda ay nasa isang puso na natutuwa at humihingi ng kapatawaran, knowing na yung kapatawaran yan ay aking pong matatanggap. Apat na hours para sa Advent season. Number one, remembering. Number two, readying yourself. That sense of constantly knowing you have to rehearse the good works. You have to constantly do it hanggang sa abutan ka ng panahon ng kanyang pagbalik. Number three, reconciling, repenting, renewing, the true preparation for Christmas. And number four, that sense of rejoicing for our God will still continue to forgive us and accept us. My dear friends, nawawala man ang gloria, but we have reason to be grateful for our God remains to be faithful, forgiving and loving. Amen. Tayo po'y magsitayo as we together declare, I believe in, in one God, God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for as men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven 
and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary. He became man, and for our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered dead and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Christ the Lord asks us to be watchful, to be awake for His coming into our lives. In need of His grace, we pray to the Father, Lord, make us your faithful people. Lord, make us your faithful people. May the Pope, the bishops, and the leaders of our Christian communities watch over the Church and keep the God's people ever ready for the Lord's coming, we pray. Lord, Lord make, make us, us your, your faithful, faithful people. people. May civil leaders carry out their tasks with love and responsibility, like faithful servants awaiting the Master's return, so that when He comes, they will receive the unfading crown of glory, we pray. Lord, Lord make, make us, us your faithful, faithful people. May peace visit the hearts and homes of all families this Advent season, and may our families be seedbeds of faith, and bearers of the good news of Christ, we pray. Lord, Lord make, make us, us your faithful people. May consecrated men and women continue to be inspired by what St. Paul tells us today. He will keep you firm until the end, irreproachable on the day of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Lord, make us your faithful people. May our family members, relatives, and friends who have died Experience everlasting joy in the company of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Lord, make us your faithful people. We pray today for the nurses who have and are still taking the board exam, especially po yung dalawa kong pamangking kambal, si Mary Lett and Marivic Sobrewanite, and the CPU nurses of Iloilo. We pray for the repose of the souls of Pilar Abella Mauri, Ramon Crame, Hil Fernandez, Vicky Maravilla. We pray for the birthday intentions of Antonio Alumno Jr. and the healing of Elsie Uy, Vic Tobias, Ramon Velasquez, and Joy Doble Don Donay. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us your faithful people. Lord, we eagerly await for the coming of your Son. Strengthen us by the inspiration of the Spirit and make us watchful and prayerful. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please remain standing while the gifts are being presented.
understand. Pray may the friends that your sacrifice in mine be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty now, our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Jesus our Lord. For He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when He comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise, and which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. the fount of a holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Huling buwan po ng Nobyembre, muli sa harapan ng Panginoon ng kapayapaan at kapatawaran, let us bring the names of our beloved dead in silence that God may grant them eternal peace. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, Kasama niya at sa Kanya Ang lahat ng parangal at papuri Ay sa iyo Diyos naman Makapangyarihan Kasama ng Espiritu Santo Magpasawalang hanggang We ask God now, our Father in heaven, that we may truly be prepared for the coming of His Son into our hearts as He is King of our lives. We pray the Our Father. O oh Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior Jesus the Christ. Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, I give you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Christ is he grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Ang apat na ar ng Adviento. Remembering, readying, repenting, Rejoicing. Pag lahat ng yay na unawaan mo, truly Christmas will come and you will have peace in your heart because the reason for the Christmas will be in you. We share that peace of the Lord with one another. Peace be with you. This is the Jesus who desires to be found in your hearts. This is the Jesus who has come 2,000 years ago and will one day come back to be king of the universe. Happy are we who open our hearts even now to welcome him. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. With the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us where we see them. For those of you who are unable to receive the Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I'm sorry. 
tayo po'y manalangin. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit as we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love us the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Grant this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Pag si Father Mario tinatanong, Father, ano para sa iyo ang Pasko? Simpleng sagot. Si Kristo, si Jesus, sa puso. Ano man ang gawin nating pagsasaya, dekorasyon, magagantang damit, hapagkain ang puno ng pagkain. Ngunit kung sa araw ng kanyang kaarawan, wala si Kristo sa puso, hindi Pasko ang ating ipagdiriwang. And so even now, on this first Sunday of Advent, let's call on Jesus to come into our hearts as we remember, as we repent, as we rejoice, as we truly make ready for His coming. Jesus, Jesus. say, invite Him, come, Jesus, Maranatha, come into our hearts. And into our sinfulness, your forgiveness as God. Come, bring us your peace. Jesus, you will be part of our history again. And we remember that day 2,000 years ago. Tanggalin mo sa aming mga puso ang lahat na hindi ayon sa inyong kagustuhan. upang kami tunay na mapaghandaan ang araw ng inyong kaarawan. Jesus, we rejoice in you because you are a forgiving God. And we ask you today to heal those who are watching us on television. Ang mga nawawalan ng pag-asa, ang mga may karamdaman, ang ramdam na parang pasa nila ang... Grant them healing, Lord. Heal their brokenness. Give comfort. Give peace. Jesus, we bless the whole world. We bless the country, the Philippines. Sa aming pagkahanda sa pagdating ng iyong Santo Papa. Gawin mo kaming isang sambayanang may habag at awa sa puso. Nagkakaisa sa inyo. bilang magkapatid sa iisang ama. Kapuri-puri ka, Diyos na dakila. Have mercy on your people. Grant that truly, we will be ready for His coming this Christmas. Ang ating pong first Wednesday, dito po sa Chapel of the Eucharistic Lord, mayroon po tayong first Wednesday healing mass. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Huwag nyo rin palampasin na hindi kayo nakakatulong sa iba sa Christmas na to. Ang ating pong mga libro, available po uli, yung ating 365 Days with the Lord. May Tagalog version po, 180 lang. Pero pwede na rin 200, you know. At yung 280, pwede nyo nang gawing 300 din. Salamat sa tulong nyo.